The last thing I sent him was, I'm done. Like, every day, I'm by myself. I can't believe you when you tell me you love me. Previously on Wrong Distance Relationship. The problem is, I want four, because you have four kids. He's set on two. Like, he, there's no way he's having more than two kids. If you absolutely have your heart set on having three plus kids, then there's no point doing this, is it? I'm about to see Juan for the first time since I found out that he's revealed that he's in another relationship. All of a sudden, we just start arguing, like, out of nowhere. And now we have not spoken in, like, two weeks. If being with you is not beneficial, why are we together? Right now, I'm sitting at this restaurant alone because Juwan just stormed off from the table. I flew all the way to Cleveland just to confront him about leading a double life. So the least he could do is sit down and tell me what's going on. At the end of the day, I'm always gonna be the bad guy. Even when it, even Because when you're doing bad things though. Like, no one's making you the villain. And you know that. You make it seem I've like defended I'm just a villain. you. Like, yes, I'm just you like, like, I'm just like. I mean, I'm making you sound like that because you cheated on me. What do you want to tell you? Like, what else can I possibly tell you? You still haven't said you're sorry. Let's start with that. I can't believe you when you tell me you love me. Why you? Why you even saying that? What do you mean? Why am I saying that? I mean, because you know how you know I love you. You know how I feel about you. Like, uh, sometimes you gotta do what's best for you. And screw other people in the process. You will say some shit like that. Because you, 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 that's what happened. Okay, okay, Gabby, but you don't have I'm to just put some blunt with it. That's what happened after this we talk ever again. So you telling me this is just I think instead of getting genuine, honest conversation and answers, I think I just truly saw who Juwan is as a person. On some real I feel like I'm rethinking a lot of and At the end of the day, I feel like I'm losing a great woman. Yes. Hello? Hey, baby. Just let you know I love your big-headed ass. I'll call you in a second. Bye, baby. So for my birthday, Tavius asked me what I wanted. So I was like, oh, I would love for you to write me a letter. Just tell me how you feel. And I know that's something out of his comfort zone, so that was just a present in itself. I was going to open the letter, and he was like, no, wait until I'm gone. Can I read it? Are you and now I think that it's time to open it. I'm really nervous. The last thing I sent him was, I'm done. I don't want to talk to you, so. We haven't really been talking at all since that happened. So it feels weird. I feel like, you know, like, what is he doing? Is he talking to other people? I know that I'm not, but like, what is he doing? That fight had so much built into it. Like, I had been holding my tongue a lot. One thing I don't tolerate is BS and disrespect. I'm hard on that. <laughs> Basically, the letter said that he loved me and talking about the future, mm -hmm. like kids and marriage and just our families. I really wanted to show her a different side of me because, I mean, what she's used to is what everybody else is used to with me. I'm really not an emotional person. So I really don't know how to feel right now. I have mixed emotions because I'm still upset with him. I'm still disappointed. But this letter is, like, really getting me right now. It was a beautiful letter. Really beautiful. And it just pisses me off because I'm like, I want all of that that's in that letter. But how are we going to get to that point if we're not even talking to each other? I don't know what the future holds between me and her. I really don't. My sister Liz and I are hanging out this afternoon. <laughs> don't push me. I don't Why? Don't push me. So I have to tell my sister what I'm doing later today. It's a little bit different than what I usually do. OK, so it's a little bit awkward. What? <laughs> Sounds kind of weird when I say it. I was on like an app where you can meet friends. It's not like a dating it's app. It's, it's literally for friends. It's friends, yeah. So I'm meeting up with a girl that I met on there today. I need more friends. Why do you feel lonely? I'm by myself, like every day I eat by myself or like I go shopping by myself. It's hard to keep friends because I'm only here six months out of the year. Would you invest time in somebody you know is barely gonna be here? Probably not, but. Probably not? That's gonna make me feel worse if you say that. What if I get there and it's like an 80 year old man? 
I've been catfished. Don't call me. They'll <laughs> come get you. Yeah, thanks. Can you you would not come get me. <laughs> call the police. Never mind, sorry. I keep on checking my phone because she's like a little bit late. Are you kidding me? Hi, gorgeous. How's my beautiful girl? I feel weird. Why? Remember I told you I was meeting up with one of my friends from that app? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was waiting for like 35 minutes at the deli and she didn't show up. Honey. And she like texted me and she was like, hey, I'm gonna have to cancel today. What can I just share up? There's not much you can do. Talking to Sam, it was nice, but I still feel pretty sad. I just wish we lived in the same country full time. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is episode six. This is episode six of Wrong Distance Relationship and let's let's get into it without wasting any time. So starting with Gabby and Juan, our most dramatic couple in this conversation where they're having the confrontation, Juan seems to be so preoccupied with the idea that Gabby thinks of him as a bad guy. Like what, what else does he expect? He cheated and to Gabby, you will always be the person who hurt her as much as maybe you could be a good person. But good people also do bad things and the way that he is not even apologizing for it or he, he seems like he doesn't even see what he actually did wrong he's just hurting someone he really or he's pretending to have really cared about and Juan just say you're sorry say you're sorry even if things change at least give her some closure and apologize just apologize and something else I don't understand is when Juan asked so is this just it is this just it and for good and I don't understand how in his mind he did not realize that this was exactly what was going to happen when he cheated and did all these things behind Gabby's back like nigga what else did you expect this is exactly how it was gonna play out the minute you decided the minute you chose this is not you cannot even say you cheated by accident or this was a decision this was a decision and it's sounding it's sounding more and more like he regrets what he did but he doesn't want to come out and say it outright because he doesn't want to to i guess give the impression that he did anything wrong but deep down i'm sure he knows i'm sure he knows he's done something wrong i am really glad gabby walked out of this hurtful relationship and I'm, I hope she can find happiness. I think she deserves much, much, much better than to be treated like this, especially when in a long distance relationship, you're sacrificing so much to keep such a arrangement going on. And when someone cheats on you or hurts you like this, I think it's it's really painful and it gives this whole long distance relationships a bad name. I've, I've seen pretty successful ones and I've seen ones that really fall apart. So you guys tell me, what, what is your experience? What is your experience with this? And near the end of, of their segment, Juan decides to call his current girlfriend and you can hear, you can tell that it's her by, his, she's calling her baby and these sweet words and I love you and blah, 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 blah. Like, how does he have the audacity to actually do this while he's just <laughs> while he's still still sitting at the table where he's just talked to his ex-girlfriend like what kind of balls do you need to behave like this and something another question i wonder is for the girl he's currently dating does she not feel any guilt or any like like women please explain to me how do you feel when you know you're dating a man who was who he cheated on on his ex-girlfriend with you like how does it feel knowing you stole a man or you, you you're with a stolen man how, how does it feel do you not feel anything is wrong or something is is just off like is is there no is do you feel nothing ladies please please tell me because i i don't understand how she's okay with this and she's like uh, I, I i just don't i don't get it please tell me let me know down in the comments because to me it just sounds ridiculous being with someone who cheated just to be with you it, it kind of feels crazy that just feels crazy so on to our next couple lexus and tavius and in the beginning they're talking about this letter that she asked tavius to write i, I feel it's very sweet uh, writing letters to each other and expressing how you feel and but in the beginning when when i guess tavius gave her the letter during her birthday and said do not open it until i'm i'm not here and to me i kind of i kind of felt like maybe it's a breakup letter i don't, I, I was kind of scared that maybe this is how this nigga will end this relationship and 
and I was kind of afraid for her. I was really, really afraid for her. I was very glad that it wasn't that. I think these two can go the distance and I'm rooting for them. I'm actually really rooting for these two. It was very sweet for him to write her a letter and express how he feels because as the episode is going on, he's made it clear that he's not a very emotional person and I guess he doesn't express himself all the time or show his feelings. So this is, it's a nice way to let someone you know how you feel it's it's a very nice gesture and i used to write a lot of letters back in high school because when i was in high school we, we didn't have phones or anything like that so the only way you communicated with people you liked was right through like writing letters two pages three pages and it was uh, it's 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 some of the nuances of dating that I actually miss. This just writing letters to each other and everything is not just instant. The build up, the anticipation, the surprise, the I just I just miss it. I, I miss that nuance of dating. I think what what like our parents had before when like they met, I think yeah, phones weren't really a thing. So people used to exchange information and life experiences through letters. I I miss that old school way of dating. And on to our next story, Sam and Monica. If you guys watched the previous episode, uh, Sam was portrayed as this unrelenting, uncompromising us but i guess from since then i've i've gotten more information and found out that sam and monica were actually against how that specific ed episode was edited because it portrayed sam as a bad guy who's not willing to compromise on how many babies they should have and i guess the producers maybe edited it this way i guess just to create drama and and clicks because i guess in, in this whole show sam and monica they've been the very chill chill couple in the group and i guess they're trying to ramp up some publicity or for clicks so guys Guys, question everything you watch. Everyone has a motive, everyone has an agenda. So take that with a great take everything I say or in this show with a grain of salt. We all have our different motives. We all have our different motives. I really related to what Monica was talking about. Like uh, she went on this app and it's an app for meeting friends. And I really related to how I guess lonely some of us can feel in 2019 or in this day and age uh the thing she was saying she eats alone she goes shopping alone she does pretty much a lot of things alone and i guess in the world that we live in i guess we spend most of our lives or most of our adult lives by ourselves i guess we see our friends maybe over the weekend or but or our partners or generally when you start dating your partner is the person who you spend the most time and when you're single i guess it gets a little lonely i, I understand i i understand i've been there i'm even currently there right now so it's just just life just life i keep myself busy entertained and, ent and entertained with the internet and i keep myself busy creating this content uh, maybe I don't have that many friends because maybe <laughs> I'm always busy. I'm just always busy. So one of my subscribers, I, I asked this question for guys to send me assumptions about me. And one of my subscribers, Amanda Mora, asked, assumed that I don't have that many friends. And yes, you're right. You're right. I don't have that many friends. I've been away from my country for the last three years. So friends I used to have, I guess we've now grown apart and some friends have grow, have outgrown and if if I haven't actually talked to you in three years then I guess I, I don't see what we'd really talk about at this point because we're very different people and I have an experience where people who I used to know in high school or before that if they hit me up and want to talk to me you you realize that they still have this picture in their head that you're still the same person that you were back then so back then they'd start talking to me about let's go to a club or let's go binge binge drinking like this or let some silly silly things or asking me who which girl do you want or this 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 so it, it it to me it clearly looks like they really just remember an earlier version of you that was very childish younger me was very very childish and very very shallow so this is what I mean, like you, out, you outgrow certain people and if people do not move with you, I guess some people get left behind and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with where I'm in my life right now. I, now I'm busy making new friendships and working and trying to figure out my own life. So yes, that's just what, what it is. So, but me, I, I never and I never want to deal with dating apps it like anything online any i don't like many making any relationships online so friendships or dating like after i got catfished on tinder like i'm just mm, 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 never again never 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 again so anyway guys that's all from me i'll see you guys in the next one bye
I'm not gonna say you're not trying to be an adult, but I feel like I didn't say anything that you were doing that was helping us. It makes it hard, because you just, you never know. Am I getting proposed <laughs> no, to?